Hello my marvellous sausages and welcome to the Destiny 2 weekly reset. A bit of a new look this week, I'm going into more detail with all the weapon pools that you can get for the dungeons, for the raid and also for the exotic mission too. Plus we'll have a look at all our normal stuff as well including the Dare's Loot Pool, Eververse and we'll also have a look at the new weapons that are coming with the Brave update this week as well. Anyway, let's pop to the tower first off and check out Banshee and Ada. Hello Banshworth, let's have a look at what you've got. Now, there are, uh, there is one uh, pretty damn fine one here, only good for another six hours, of course. It's the Syncopation 53. Nice um, uh, roll this one because we've got Vorpal, Zen Moment, Alloy Magazine, Light Mag, Polygonal Rifling, and Chambered Compound Potato. That's a good one, and we've got a Range Masterwork as well. And uh, I don't forget as well that uh, you've got one of these as an 1810 in your Chest of Thunderous Trousers, or whatever it's called, from Shaxx in the new Hall of Champions. So you could infuse that for bugger all, but it doesn't cost much anyway. Anyway, there we go. There's that. Ada's got a variety this week for a change. First off, we've got the Cinder Char. I don't know the last time she sold this one, but, uh, you know, there we are. It's not bad at all, really. I just don't like the orangey bit, but still, that's quite rare. Haven't seen that one for a while. Uh, Echoes of Io, which is actually quite a nice shade. I do like that. Me Swarmers look horrendous. And the other one, we've got War Cult Rain. War Cult usually looks pretty good. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's got a red in it, which is quite strange for Walker. It was usually the strong blue, but we've got a navy blue there instead. Not bad at all. So let's have a look at the Vanguard Ops. First of all, we've got as we've got increased Vanguard rank, which is excellent. We've got a Solar Surge. We've got a Strand Surge. <laughs> I pull my mic closer then. We've got a Void Threat, and we've got a Power Level disabled there. That's your bog standard malarkey. He's now the Nightfall It's Good Self. Uh, we've got Hypernet Current this week, which is nice. Uh, We've got increased Vanguard rank, but we've also got double Nightfall rewards, which is lovely as well, yes. Uh, we've got champion foes of Overloads and Unstoppables, uh, Arc Threat, Epitaph. Is it called Epitaph? Epitaph, yes, of course it is. And then we've got a Stasis Surge, a Solar Surge, and an Overcharge on Grenade launches as well. And the weapon is the Warden's Law. Here's the Adept. Lovely and shiny. In the crew Cyber this week, we've got Control, but we've also got Team Scorched. We've got Rumble, we've got Checkmate Survival in the labs, and Clash on the Quick Play. Now, for the exotic weapons, I think I'm going to go through the weapon rotation there as well, so you know what other weapons you can claim, because there's some damn fine ones there. So this week's exotic dungeon is going to be the Vox Obscura. So for that, you're going to get the Dead Messenger, which is the exotic, of course. And the weapons are from the Season of the Risen. So we've got the Explosive Personality Grenade Launcher. We've got the Recurrent Impact Machine Gun. The Under Your Skin Bow. The Sweet Sorrow Auto Rifle. The Thoughtless Sniper Rifle. And finally, the Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle. I said a piece of pulse then, eh? And the armor set is the Tusked Legion set. These are quite nice, actually, because you've got a nice glowy eye on them. Lovely set, that one. I really do like it. Here's the Warlock one. Now, the Ghosts of the Deep is the Pinnacle Dungeon. And in the same vein, I'm going to show you what weapons you you can get for this too. So first of all we've got the No Survivors Submachine Gun. This can be gotten from every single encounter. The first, the second and the third. The new Pacific Epitaph. That's a grenade launcher. It's wave frame stasis. This can be gotten on the first encounter and the final encounter as a possible reward. The Greasy Luck. Lovely name. Glaive. Uh, this can be gotten in the second encounter and from the final encounter as well. And the final legendary weapon you can get is this. The Cold Comfort Rocket Launcher. This is stasis. You can get this in every encounter as a possible drop. And the exotic weapon is the Navigator Trace Rifle. Cool, what a beast. Sort of. And the armor set you can get is the Taken King set. It is very, very pretty. And don't forget, that means it's farmable this week too, so that means you have a chance also to get Artifice Armor if you do it on Master. Now, the Pinnacle Raid this week is the Root of Nightmares. And the weapons you can get, first of all, the Briar's Contempt. This is a linear fusion. Now, you can get this in the opening first encounter and also through the final encounter as well. The Caraxis is, 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 Distress. This is a grenade launcher. It's Strand. Now, you can get this from the first encounter, the second encounter, and the third encounter, and indeed the final encounter as well. So, you can get this one everywhere. The Nessa's Oblation Shotgun. So, first encounter and second encounter and the final encounter 
to the Acacia's Dejection. Uh, this is a solar trace rifle. Now then, you can get this one from the second encounter, the third encounter, and the final encounter as a possible drop. The bonkers looking Michael's Reverence, which is a strand sidearm. Now you can get this one from the second encounter, third encounter, and of course the final one. And the final legendary weapon is the Rufus's Fury Auto Rifle. This one's only available from the third encounter and the final encounter too. And the exotic is the Conditional Finality Shotgun. Everyone loves this one. And for Dares of Eternity this week, we've got Taken, Cabal, and Zydron as the uh, rounds. We've got uh, Rank and File Damage Increase. We've got on Standard Legend Modifiers, of course. We've got a Solar Threat, and then we've got a Stasis Surge, a Solar Surge, and an Overcharge on Glaives and on Grenade Launchers. And now it's that moment you've all been waiting for. The return of the Dares of Eternity Loot Pool. With armor. The Iota Draconis Fusion Rifle. Solar High Impact Frame. The Canis Major Heavy Grenade Launcher. Rapid Fire Frame Solar. The Outrageous Fortune Grenade Launcher. Rapid Fire Frame Solar. A Time Sausages Cuddly Toy. Available from all good stockists, or at least in the link below. Steel Sybil Z14 Adaptive Frame Sword. Void. The Fractethis Precision Frame Shotgun. Stasis. The Chrysura Mellow Auto Rifle. Solar High Impact Frame. The Vulpecular Hand Cannon Precision Frame Stasis. The Wolf Tone Draw Combat Bow Precision Frame Arc. An incredibly cute build your own Wall E robot, or is it Wall E? I can never remember. The Legal Action 2 High Impact Frame Pulse Rifle Kinetic. The Contingency Plan Scout Rifle Viced Rapid Fire Frame. Arc. The spoiler alert sidearm, lightweight frame, and for the armor this week, we of course have our standard scatterhorn armor set, which is every week, but we also have the Pathfinder set this week. So here we are in the Hall of Champions, and old Arse Height has got um <laughs> He's got a mountain top for us this week. Excellent. What's all that about? New milestone added. Uh, speak to Devrim in the EDZ. A watchful eye. What's this? Something has just enacted. Let's go and have a look at that in a moment. Uh, we've got climbing the mountain top there, so we've got to get rapidly defeated guardians or uh, rapidly defeated kills. Rather, uh, bonus progress and onslaught, or guardian kills with it. There's the mountain top with its micro mini missiles. Can't wait to get my hands on one of those. And the other one we've got, as well as for the midnight ride, rather, is for the midnight coup hand cannon. So rapid defeat combatants using hand cannons anywhere in the system. So uh, 0% there, or percentage on the rapidly defeated one. So there we go. They are now both available to get this week. And here's our first glimpse of the new mountain top there. Very nice indeed. Micro missile frame. This weapon fires a high-speed projectile in a straight line and deals reduced self-damage. Moves faster with this weapon equipped. That is really nice. And the possible perks, what do we have here? Well, we've got Rampage, Vorpal Weapon, Adrenaline Junkie, One for All, Harmony, Recombination. Uh, elemental Final Blows increase the damage of this weapon's next shot. And Frenzy, that's in the end column. In the last but one, we've got Ambitious Assassin, Impulse Amplifier, Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Slick Draw, Autoloading Holster, and Overflow. That's quite nice. Then we've got, in the, in the second column, Sticky Grenades, or Spike Grenades, High Velocity Rounds, or Implosion Rounds. And the first column, Volatile Launch, Confined Launch, Quatermass in the Pit, Hard Launch, Linear Combat Potato, Quick Launch, or Smart Drift Control. And then we've got the Midnight Coup, and let's have a quick look at the perks there while we're here why not we've got rampage kinetic tremors zen moment one for all frenzy opening short or desperate measures that's in the end column and then we've got outlaw firefly shoot to loot explosive payload moving target attrition orbs or enlightened action in the third column second column we've got accurized rounds we've got appended mag tactical mag extended mag 
Steady Rounds, Alloy Magazine, or Fled Magwell. And then in the final column, we've got Arrowhead Break, Chambered Combo Potato, Corkscrew Rifling, Extended Barrel, Fluted Barrel, or Full Bore, or Hammer Forged Rifling, Polygonal Rifling, or Smell Bar. Not bad. And now it's time for Eververse. Let's have a little look what we've got here. Don't forget, of course, pick up your free brightness, 700 of those babies there. Grab that immediately. Oh, the Ecto Jump Ship's there as well for a thousand. There we go. Right, let's have a look. Now then, we've got Sinking Feeling Shader, 300 Bright Dust. I do like this one. It's shiny and it's blue. That's a good one. Well worth picking up. Abyssinian Gold. I like that also. Uh, look at it. It's got like a muted gold look to it. And a charcoal black. Uh, yeah, it's a very nice number that. Yeah, we like that one. That's grand. We've got the Subjugator Entrance, which is, well, it's that. Pyramidal um, vases. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, Imperial Decree shotgun ornament. Unhearing to be told. It's, and I don't own it. Is it the Star Wars lucky one? Yeah, I like that. Reminds me of like a Stormtrooper blaster. Uh, okay, that's cool. What do we have here? Master Chef. Let's have a look at Master Chef. Put it on. Yes, it's on the barbecue. Uh, oh, no, no, no. He's uh, he's doing the, uh, you know, the, the nifty. Oh, look, he keeps it in his helmet. There goes the egg. Is that going to go in his helmet as well? Lovely. Ten points. That's quite entertaining. How much is that? 3,250. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the other bright desk. We've got steepled stair. Is this a continue? Oh, I like that. Oh, it goes on forever. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like those. That's good for videos, that. I'm buying it. Lovely. Good. There we are. Thanks very much indeed. Now we've got ornaments. We've got the Wrath Trail ornament set, and we're onto the uh, onto the robes, onto the chest pieces this week, which is nice. Let's have a look at this one. 1,200. And uh, what is actually quite nice, isn't it? It's sort of explorery. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. That's the Warlocks. And here's the Titan piece, the future facing plate. Let's have a little look at that. It's Omel on. It's nice. I reckon this is going to be a nice, slibbing, athletic version on the old Titans. What do you reckon, eh? And for the Hunters, we've got the Virulent Vest. If you don't wash your vest, I bet it'll get quite virulent. It's very nice, actually, isn't it? Yes. They're quite plain, but quite sexy. We have a ghostly. Bell end, I mean Bell Air shell. Let's have a little look at this. Oh yeah, look, it goes with the old, uh, with, with 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 the red Corvette looking fifties souped up ship and uh, sparrow that we've got. That's very nice. I quite like that. The Bel Air share, uh, the Halcyon Corvette. Let's have a look at this. There it. Oh my God, that's so bloody nice. Oh, I like that. I'm buying that as well. That's amazing. Money, please. There we go. Thank you. Oh, no, it's the ship. It's the open sky tourer as well. Oh, no, that's not the ship. It's a sparrow. I believe I got that. Have I got that? I don't know. No, I haven't got it. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. It's very pretty. Let's have a look at these retros. It's got a petrol cap on the back as well. Excellent. Uh, we've got an ornament for the lament here, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's quite nice. Looks like a, what is that? It's, like a, it's a V8 engine on it. Look, yeah, because there's eight cylinders. Excellent. I do like that. We've got internal combustion. No, we haven't. We've got this. We've got riven projection. We'll get that in the end, which is quite nice. But like riven, look, his testicles. I mean, his tentacles hanging out of place. We've got a harpy entrance. That was your last week as well. Friendly harpy entrance. That is uh, Wass's chops. You know, Ashamir. Yes. Okay. We've got signal process transmat effect. Which is good. I enjoy that. Yes, we've got the Reef Shimmer. Which is nice because it clings to you like a dotty outfit. Mm. Uh, we've got Springtide Faint. Ooh, let's have a look at this. That's very shiny and very crazy. It looks like you're working in a sweet shop somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah, there we are. That's quite good. Nice uh, patterning and look at the dappling on the old helmet there. That's good. Sounds painful. Uh, Irradiant Charroi crazy this right is on on metal look you can see it's kind of like all crystalline so when you put it on like a titan's uh, metallic outfit it looks absolutely nuts this is very very good yes buy that if you haven't got it uh we've got golden age wine which is a goldy ready one and a pearl oh yeah that's quite nice that 
quite like that. Goes well on my swarmers. And finally, we've got the deep sea jaunt, which I think is a bit dull. It's okay. It's not as nice as the others, though, is it? But still, you know, get it for completion's sake. Now, don't forget, we've got week two of the Whisper mission, which means we're going to get the second part of the Catalyst. Uh, so uh, you can come and collect that from Eris here, look. Now, I'll be doing a separate video on this because we're going to find the locations of the Blights that are actually in the Whisper mission. And there's going to be new Oracles as well. Now, the Oracles are for collecting the ship. This baby here, which looks excellent, this is the Carve of the Worm. Now, you've got to collect seven oracles to do this, and you get the ship from completing the Triumph. We had two last week. There's probably going to be two or three this week. So, I'll be doing a video about the Blight positions for the Catalyst, and also any extra oracles that have turned up this week. Keep an eye out for that. And one other thing that just dropped in my lap, you might have seen it pop up on your screens as well. If you have a little look here on your director, we've got here a watchful eye speak to Devram in the E. EDZ. This could be something to do with finding Archie, the little lost dog, all around uh, the solar system. So we're going to have a little look at that. And uh, if I can complete that and do a guide up for you as well, if you're having trouble finding the little doggy, then I will stick that up this evening. I'll probably do the Catalyst one tomorrow, but we'll see how it all unfolds. So there we go. Loads happening this week. Loads to do. Don't forget, I've done a guide on the Onslaught activity, which will give you an idea of how exactly the game mode works and those little hints and tips there take a little look at that it'll do you right when you're piling in this week to get your new brave weapons and if you did enjoy the vid and like and subscribe would be utterly fantastic and let me know in the comments if you started looking for archie yet or it's a bit of a dead herring anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall speak to you all again very soon sausage head